My name is Yen Tong. My name is Jia Ying. So, today, we will be making a Leiden jar. So, what is a Leiden jar? It's basically act as a small battery which store a high voltage electric charge between electric conductors on the inside and outside of the jar. Ah, I see. Can I try it in my home? Sure, you can. In fact, I'm gonna teach you how to do Leiden jar. So the materials that you need are aluminum foil, plastic bottle preferably that has a smooth surface, electric tape, a screwdriver, two ping pong balls, a screw, two copper wires, and salt. Next, we're going to add three spoonful of salt into the bottle. After adding salt, we're going to add water. Make sure the solution is saturated so that the results are more obvious. So after adding salt and water, shake the bottle so that the salt is completely dissolved. Next, take the bottle cap and use a screwdriver to insert the screw. The screw should be placed in the middle of the bottle cap. Then, take a piece of copper wire and coil it around the end of the screw. Screw the lid back into the bottle. Make sure the wire is in the water. So now we're going to cut the aluminum foil. Cut out two 15 by 15 cm piece of foil and a 23 by 25 cm piece of foil. While cutting the foil, make sure it has a smooth surface. Next, use the aluminum foil and carefully wrap the ping pong ball. While wrapping the ping pong ball, make sure the foil has a smooth surface so that it is able to absorb electrical charges easily. Then, make a tail at the end of the ping pong ball. Now, repeat the same step on the second ping pong ball. Now this time, make a hole at the end of the ball. Insert the ping pong ball into the nail and use electrical tape to secure the ball. Wrap the bottle using aluminum foil and use electrical tape to secure the foil. I used electrical tape to tape the edges of the bottle. Next, use a piece of copper wire and coil it around the tail of the ping pong ball. And use electric tape to tape the copper wire on the outer side of the bottle. So this is the end product. And now we're going to conduct the experiment. This is my friend Jai. Hi! And this is the governometer. So what? does the galvanometer do? It produces electricity. And this, it absorbs electric electricity into this ball. And this is the discharger, where this is neutrally charged. And this will absorb all the electrons. So when it goes near, the positive and negative will attract each other and will cause a spark. So now we're going to conduct the experiment. So now we're going to test it out. Did you see that? That was called a spark. Hey guys! Hey guys. So, thank you for watching. We are from the uni school and I would like, I hope you guys will support us. So this is like the
cool that you filmed this video. So thank you everybody. Bye. Bye.